Hey everybody, welcome back. We are going to learn a new stitch pattern today. This one is very, very popular. It is made by a designer. Her name is Miss Sandra. You can find her blog on Blogspot and it is called Cherry Heart. Uh, you can find the link below the video right down here below the video in the description box. So once we have done this tutorial together, uh, do go to her blog and show her some love for this beautifully designed pattern. This is called the clamshell uh, stitch. I have had many, many um, requests to do this for as long as it's been out. Um, so I did ask Miss Sandra if it was okay if I did this on video for my channel and she was very happy to allow me to do so. So, this stitch pattern, the more color you use, the more beautiful the clamshells will come to life, as you can tell. Now, I did like some earth tones here, just for my example piece. You can do in any yarn you want, in any hook you want, for this demonstration. I did this in cotton, so it's just a basic four-weight cotton. Um, and she has all of her descriptions here on her link, so if you would rather use the yarn that she's using, um, the hook she's using, you can read those instructions as well on her site. Um, I'm just going to use standard uh, sugar and cream yarn. And you see I've got four colors, so I've got two shades, uh, different shades of blue. I've got a mix with blues, whites, and purples, and then I've just got my standard white color. Um, and then I'm going to use a five millimeter hook. So I'm going to use one that we make, and this is one of our custom design hooks. This is a what's called figured catalogs in the exotic wood. So um, you can find more about these hooks on our website listed below, also in the description box at stitchandstaceyshooks.weebly.com so I'm going to use a 5.0 millimeter hook alright so what you're going to do and if you follow along on the instructions with me you'll click the link in the description box now she has this rated as difficult only for the reason uh, of making the clamshell posts which are your spikes that you see right here. Okay, the instructions, uh, she goes over really well. She does a really great job, and I'm going to go over those with you as well. But once you get in the swing of making this tip of the clamshell, it just flows like water. Um, so if you're really good with things like that, that once, once it gets in your brain, it sticks with you, you'll be great with this and then it'll just start flowing but this works up really quickly um, so once I get this completed I'm going to weave in my ends and I'm just going to use this as a simple uh, facial dish um, facial cloth for myself in the bathroom so um, again these are beautiful gifts you can make afghans out of them uh, whatever you would like. Now, the other note that I need to make is you'll need to read what she has on her site. I'm not going to go over and read everything she has on her site, um, but do click on the link and go over that before you start. Uh, all of her instruction as far as the stitch information is written in the pattern in British form. Now, she does have it in American form in uh, parentheses in green. I will be teaching it in the American form. Um, I've pretty much got it memorized um, now after doing this. Um, and it's not hard. Pretty much most of them are just a, a stitch is just a step down from the one that is in front of it. It, it sort of works out that way, but I'll explain that as I go. And then if you go to her website, you will see that she has picture diagrams to go along with the instructions and then if you go all the way down to the bottom of the page before the comments she has just a set of written instructions without the pictures so that also helps so um, either way you would prefer to learn it so anyway let's get started so what you're going to I'm going to go all the way down 
to where I go to the basic written instructions because I do not need to have the picture instructions now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this aside and I'm going to actually let you know first of all um, you will not start repeating rows um, until you get to row I want to say eight so you're going to do rows all the way up to eight and then what you will do is start repeating the process so eight rows makes up this pattern before you start repeating the pattern okay and then what I just wanted to do there's more than eight rows here is I wanted to end with the same color that I started with that way it gave you a full look of the actual clamshells okay so pick your color that you want to start with and I'm just going to start with white because I want to end with white and then I'm going to do a blue next and then I'll do my variegated color and then I'll do my next blue and then I'll end with white now what you want to do is we're going to uh, chain in multiples of eight which is what she has done here so basically I chained uh, 24 total and then you're going to add two to whatever your finish count is if you're going to chain multiples of eight if you're going to do three sets of eight that's 24 once you chain 24, add 2 to that. If you're going to go further and do 4 sets of 8, which is 32, once you've chained 32, add 2 to that. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now that is three sets of the multiples, which is eight, three sets of eight, which is 24. Now I'm going to add my two. No matter what you chain up in multiples, you want to add two to the very end. All right, now for row one, um, you are going to, and again, let me make myself clear, if you're following along reading what I'm reading off her pattern, I am going to be speaking in the American terms, not the British terms. So row one says to double crochet in second chain from hook, double crochet in each chain to end. I'm going to say you're going to single crochet in the second chain because that's going to be your American stitch. And let me show you on my computer really quick before we get started, just so everybody's clear with that and there's not a big confusion on what's happening. So if you can see right here, British terms on this side, American terms on this side. Slip stitch is the same, space is the same, chain is the same. For their British term, for a double crochet, it's single crochet in American. A half treble in British is a half double in American. A treble in British is a double crochet in American. And a double treble in British is just a triple crochet in American. Alright, so just so you know, if you're following along on the pattern, I'm going to be speaking it in American terms, okay? So, um, just so everybody is understanding that. So now let me get back to my place here. I didn't want a bunch of confusion, so I wanted to go ahead and try to explain that. So now we are going to single crochet into the second from the hook. And we're just going to single crochet all the way across. Okay, so that's going to be row one. And row two, it will be the same thing. You will turn, chain one, and you'll single crochet all the way across. So I'm going to finish up 
row one and row two. And then at the end of row two, I'll be back to join you. So just work up two rows of single crochet. And then I'll be back to join you. Okay, so now we're ready to do row three. So we've got our foundation of two rows established. Now what you're going to do is slip stitch into the first two stitches. Um, so let's do a slip stitch right here, right into the stitch you're in. So we're just going to slip and then slip into the second stitch also. And that puts us into working our next stitch into the third stitch. So what you're going to do is put a half double crochet into that next stitch. Then you want to work three double crochet in a row. One, two, and three. Next stitch, you want to half double crochet. And then you're going to work three slip stitches in a row. One, two, three. And you've made your first shell, or uh, clam, sorry, well, clam shell, same thing. Um, so you don't have the post on this one. This is just the established first one on the bottom row. So now we're going to repeat this. In the next stitch, you want to do a half double followed by three double crochet, one, two, three. Next stitch is your half double. And then you want to do your three slip stitches in a row. One, two, three. And let's do that once more. So in the next stitch, you want to half double, three doubles in a row, one, two, three. Then you want to half double in that next stitch. All right. Now, once you've done that, you're going to simply slip stitch right into the last two stitches. All right, so before you finish that last slip stitch, you now want to change to your second color. So slip that on and then pull it through. And you're going to cut off And of course, I always tie them on. And now you're just going to turn. And now we are ready to start row four. All right, so row four, we are going to start making our clamshell spikes. So what we're going to do is chain up three, and this will count as your first double crochet. And now what you're going to do is you want to double crochet into the next stitch. Half double in the next. And single in the next three. Then you want to do a half double into the next stitch. Now that brings you to your two slip stitches. So what you're going to do is we're going to be basically working nothing any different than long double crochet. So if you've ever worked those, you understand how to work them. So you're going to skip the first slip stitch and we're going to work under the second slip stitch. So let's make a double crochet and go right into that little hole under the slip stitch for our first post because the clamshell spike is going to consist of three posts. Just like you see here, there are three posts. So that's what we're doing now. So this is the first one. Now for the second one, you're going to yarn over and you want to go into the next hole that's directly below, but it's going to be 
another row down. So you're going to go right into this hole here. And don't forget to give it some leeway. Pull that stitch up so that you're not scrunching it. So there's your second one. Now the trick is the third one. You want the third one to go back into the same stitch hole as your first one. So to get it there, you're going to actually move your second one over. And if you see right there, right there is where you're going to put that third stitch. So yarn over and just simply go right back into that same hole and work your third stitch. And there you have it. You have your first clamshell spike. So now what you're going to do is you want to uh, skip the next stitch and then you're going to work a, tri uh, not a triple, but a double crochet or a half double crochet. I'm still trying to get the terminology straight myself. Um, a half double crochet into this next stitch and then work two or three single crochet in a row. So there's three. And then in the next stitch, you'll work a half double crochet. Now that brings you to your slip stitches again. You're going to skip the next slip stitch and do just like we did before. Your first leg of your spike is going to go right below that next slip stitch. So the second leg is going to go into that stitch hole below and now again the third one all you want to do is just move it over and you want to go right into the same stitch as the first one like I said once you get the nick of it it's not a problem you're gonna skip that next slip stitch work a half double crochet into the next stitch three single crochet in a row, one, two, three, half double crochet into the next stitch. And then when you're down to your last two stitches, you're just going to work a double crochet into each one. So one, and two. So far you should have two clamshell spikes. Now that's row four. Now row five with the same color you want to chain up one and this is nothing more than a single crochet row. So you just want to single crochet all the way across and then we'll meet back up for row six. Okay, so at the end of round five, you've turned. Now round six, we want to chain up three. That will also count as a double crochet. Now we want to double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next. Now you want to work three slip stitches in a row. Half double in the next. And then three doubles in a row again. You're just going to keep repeating this all the way across. Half double in the next. three slip stitches, one, two, three, half double, three doubles in a row, half double, three slip stitches in a row and 
half double in the next stitch. Once you've gotten to the last two stitches, you want to double crochet one in each. Before you finish off that last double crochet loop, you now want to add your next color. So I'm just going to add my mixed color. Finish off that blue. And then we are ready to go for round seven. So you see there, you have made your first full row of your clamshells. And that's what your spike part of it looks like. And then there's your clamshell. Okay, so now we will move on to row seven. All right, so let's do round seven now. We are going to chain up one, and you are going to single crochet right into the same stitch, and then you want to single crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to go directly into making our clamshells. All right, so what you want to do is you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch first of all and then you want to skip the first slip stitch and then go right down into under the second slip stitch like we've done and work your first double crochet your second one is going to go down below just like we did on the other row and now we're going to make our third leg, so we need to scooch the second one over, yarn over, and go into that first, in with the first stitch. And now you've made your clamshell spike. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you want to skip that next stitch, work a half double crochet, in the next one and then you want to work your three singles in a row half double crochet in the next alright so now we're going to do this all over again skip the next slip stitch go under the next one with your first leg of your next clamshell make your half double crochet then go down into the stitch below and work your second leg or spike you can call them whatever and now our third one of course is going back into the same stitch with the first one okay so that's our second spike so you want to skip the next stitch work a half double in the next one followed by three single crochet half double crochet in the next and then our last spike of this row so we're going to go skip the next slip stitch and go into the next one underneath it make our first leg or spike go below that one into that next hole pull up and do our next leg and then move that stitch over and then go back into that first one okay so once you've done that you're gonna skip the next stitch you want to half double crochet into that next one and then what you want to do is single crochet into the last two So that's our next row of spikes. So now round eight. All you're going to do is work round eight the same as row five, which is you'll chain up one and you will simply single crochet across this row. 
So that is your eight rows of completing the clamshell stitch. So now what you'll do to resume this pattern is you will repeat rounds three through eight and you will keep right on going and make your beautiful clamshells and uh, make this project as long or as wide as you prefer and like I said the more color that you use for this the more beautiful that it's going to come out and I have been watching this stitch for for a while just really loving the idea of making it on video um, like I said I had many of you to come to me about making it so I am thrilled that Miss Sandra agreed to allow me to make it so thank you Miss Sandra alright so now you see that this has a full row of your clamshells now all you're going to do is simply repeat rows 3 through 8 and just continue to build this um, and then you're just going to start looking like this and you'll start seeing your staggered clamshells take place um, and I, again I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, and make sure to go to Cherry Heart uh, the blog for Miss Sandra and show her some love there and um, comment let her know how much you love this stitch pattern and also don't forget to like my video if you enjoyed watching this video please like this one and all of the videos that you do watch um, it does support the channel and it does help me to be able to continue to make you these tutorials so until next time guys, I hope you guys had a great time learning this stitch pattern and happy hooking.